All right, folks, here's Paul Zimke to tell us about Harms Dam on Elk River. Here we are located just outside of the city limits of Fayetteville, Tennessee, with what remains of Harms Dam. Originally built in the late 1800s by the Harms brothers who ran a textile mill at this site, it was soon sold in the early 1900s to the fledgling Fayetteville Power Company, which replaced its DC generators, which supplied power for the textile mill's lighting with AC generators. First, the 60 horsepower version, and then they added a second 50 horsepower version to become the first AC power company servicing Fayetteville. Formerly, they relied on generators, steam generators that were around the square to provide what little power they had. By DC, wasn't it? DC power, wasn't it? Yes, it was DC power that was around the square. This originally yeah. was a DC power, but Fayetteville Utilities converted it to AC power. This is it. This is what's left. As you can see, it's still holding even in some severe rain. Yeah. Uh, there is a hole in the bottom of the dam which in low water levels would be the only water passing through. None would be coming over the top. Right there on the left? No, it's in the middle. Oh, is low. it? Okay. It's, it's just an actual hole. There's several little porous places throughout the dam that when there's not water flowing over it, it's just a lot of little sprays coming out. Yeah. So. Uh, it's obviously going to erode those holes to become larger and larger, and eventually this thing's going to let go. Yeah. But they developed this land over here, which was just formerly agricultural use, and put in a high-priced neighborhood that is relying on the dam to keep water levels up provide them with a scenic view of some waterfront, but uh, it's not all that variable. This water is controlled by Tim's Ford Dam, yeah. located about 20 miles away, uh -huh. and uh, so its its flow is really dependent on, on uh, them keeping the level up in the lake in the summer for recreation have a lot of rain and then they of course are a hydroelectric producer themselves but I've walked across this when it was just about dry. That's and, amazing. Uh, as you can see it's far from it now since we've yeah. had rain every day for two weeks. Two Look weeks nothing here. more like two months. Yeah. It's the remnants of a Model A Ford oh, that was huh. formerly entangled in these trees around here. Cool. And, uh, that's all that's left of it. Yeah. Hmm. When I first I came wonder, out here. I wonder how much is ago, in there. There was a door incorporated into all those vines and whatnot over there, but yeah. somebody has since fished it out. Man, I wish I had the cowling. I'd use that as the basis of a rat rod. Well, what it's good for now is some heavy duty tetanus. <laughs> okay, you done? That's all I know. Okay.
that is a danger.